Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY 3D Tech Tech Com. Cue the intro music. We can rebuild it. We can make it better than it was before. And we can do it all for less than six million dollars. Yes, folks. We're going to disassemble the e -Sheen, What the heck is it? Uh, the E52. So we're going to take this guy apart. So a lot of you guys out there chided me for buying this. How could that be? This is quite the deal. Um, but in seriousness, one of the things, the reason I buy things like this is to take it apart and hack it. So one of the things, I run a whole bunch of DIY channels, so that's what I do is I take things apart, I hack them, I make them better. Sometimes they make it, sometimes they don't. But anyways, that's the idea behind this. So you saw in the last episode, I got the Q100. And I'm thinking about taking the electronics out. So what I want to do is go ahead, I want to disassemble this guy and... Uh, see what's inside there. So this video is all going to be about the disassembly of this and seeing what's inside there. Now, I'm not going to make you wait through all this boring stuff and me taking out screws. So what we're going to do is do a bit of a time lapse of me taking this apart and then we're going to come back and we're going to see what the innards of this guy looks like. You're interested. I know you are. Everybody's interested to see what's inside of this just as I am. So let's get into it. Okay, welcome back from the time lapse. So we have it disassembled, and this guy is kind of cute inside. Um, you can see a lot of shelf and a lot of weight actually um, for what we have here. Now, one of the first things I want to do is back up and show you guys how the motor works. So the motors actually slip into the arms horizontally, which I give them a lot of credit. This is a little bit of engineering feat. Well, not hugely, but for a $40 toy copter, and then. Uh, has sort of like a ring and pinion gear set up to drive it. So this is actually pretty good. Uh, this I think will actually allow me for a bit of to run what I want to do with the Q100. Um, so we have the control board here. It's kind of interesting. This kind of reset button on here. Um, I don't see any type of USB port or anything. Um, which I haven't looked that closely at it. So um I'll see if I can't put as uh, close up on here. Let me see, make sure you're getting all this in the frame. Let me back this up a little bit. Uh, I'll, I'll zoom in and give you a close up and so you can see the numbers and stuff on the board. Uh, it has a small little antenna here. Um, it has an F FPV antenna, FPV uh, board. So it's kind of cute. And it's obviously got the camera, a little board camera. I still have the plastic cover on the board camera. I'm going to pop that off. And again, I think I can just hot glue this to the front and then mount this inside the Q100 or mount it a little bit on the top of this board and then back it off using this ribbon cable to put it in front. Now one of the things, the motors from the Q100, here's the motor from the Q100 and here's the motors from these. It's just a little bit bigger in diameter. Not much, but it's the same height and everything. So I'm actually pretty encouraged that this might actually work as a project. and. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about it. So this is what's inside of um, Esheen E52. So you got the basic controller board, you got an FPV, which is does appear to be separate. I'm not sure why they're running three wires to it, uh, because this seems to be self-contained. So I'm assuming um, uh, power, you know, ground, hot. Not sure what the third line is for. Obviously some kind of control line maybe. I'm not sure. Um, 
But outside of that, uh, this seems to be pretty cool. The transmitter seems to be built on the board with the rest of the video. You can kind of see here, if I get this out of the way, um, the transmitter set up there. And then the rest must be obviously for processing the video. And again, your atypical 2.4 gig. Now I'm a little bit surprised that it has the two um, antennas a little bit. I guess maybe I shouldn't be. Um, just looking here. Oh, they still got a screw. Now one of the other things, I did save the screws. You can never have enough of these um, little screws, although I probably won't be able, I won't use them. Now, I'm not going to get into this video doing it because, again, I want to share just what's inside the uh, Esheen E52, but you remember back in the other video, so if I go to mount this on, I've actually got a fair amount of room, and then uh, somehow i got to figure out how to tuck this board in with the camera up front, but... Um, <clears throat> It's looking like I, I, I might just get away with having enough space to get this in there and tuck the battery in the back. I just have to figure out how to deal with the uh, FPV vo board. And so I know I might have to fold this back and then bring the camera out in the front and hot glue it. But definitely, I think, doable. And so uh, pretty excited about this. But anyways, that's for another video that I'll show you guys what I come up with for that. Uh, but anyways, for this video... Um, just wanted to share this, which I've done. So, tell you what, um, hit me up in the comments below if you get any questions, suggestions, what have you. I think this is going to be an interesting little project because even if I don't put it in the Q100 frame, uh, I'll probably print up my own frame and put it on that because uh, removing all this weight and putting the bigger motors should make this a hot little item. And especially upping the battery size, it's the same voltage, but upping the um, current output should be a, a, a pretty interesting flyer. So we'll see how it goes. So anyways, uh, comments below, subscribe button over there, give this a big thumbs up, and hey, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.